We use executive functioning every day to manage our thoughts, actions and emotions. But we're not born with these skills, but learn them over time as we make more and more connections in our brain based on our experiences. Executive functioning skills are important as they enable us to manage our time, organise and plan our days, start and complete tasks, persevere when something is challenging, regulate our emotions, control our behaviour, adapt to new situations and hold on to information until we need it and then use it in some way. Now we take many of these skills for granted and do not always realise that some of the tasks we expect children to do, especially at school, are beyond them as they have not yet developed the necessary executive functioning skills. Executive functioning skills are thought to be a good indicator of readiness for school. And although the Australian curriculum doesn't address these skills directly, personal and social capability skills such as self-management, self-awareness, social awareness and social management are taught across all curriculum areas. These capabilities include students learning to understand themselves and others and manage their relationships, lives, work and learning. So underdeveloped EF skills presents many challenges to children at school. And I've listed some of the challenges that are common and seen in students in early and middle primary and in secondary schools. These challenges can occur at any year level, however, and you may recognize some of the characteristics in the students you support. Let's have a look at them. So in prep and early primary school, children who have poor EF skills tend to be easily frustrated, have trouble following directions, often forgets what to do and may act out aggressively instead of expressing their feelings and frustrations. They may find it difficult to master routine tasks such as packing up at the end of the day. They may insist on doing things a certain way and have difficulty adjusting to changes. They may also give answers that are quite unrelated to the question you or someone else asked. In middle primary school, children who have poor EF skills tend to start tasks but not finish them. Be able to only solve problems such as maths in one way and get stuck if asked to use a different approach. They, find it they sometimes focus on the least important part of what you said. They may leave books and handouts they need to complete homework at school. They tend to have de a desk full of loose paper and pencils and sometimes panic when routines are changed. In secondary school, children who have poor EF skills tend to still be organising materials after other students have already started work. They find it difficult to complete work in a set time, often lose track of time and are still in the middle of something when everyone else has finished, has difficulty working in groups, tend to be impulsive may engage in risky behaviour and find it difficult to transition between classes. So you can see how a lack of EF skills can adversely impact students' lives on a daily basis. This is especially true for children with ADHD, some specific learning difficulties and children with disabilities such as autism. Poor EF can also be caused by ongoing stress or trauma but the good news is that EF becomes better and stronger with practice and over time. So EF consists of three skill sets or core competencies, which we'll look at in a minute. But before we do that, I would like to ask you this question and a poll will pop up on the screen in just a moment. And the question is, how often do the students you work with experience executive functioning challenges at school based on you know, what we've just looked at? Sometimes, often or every day? Just choose one response. Think about all the students you come across. Do you see these kinds of problems sometimes, quite often or every day? 
that you're working with students and we'd be interested to see what the results are. If you can see the results, you can see that none of you said that these skills only trouble students sometimes. 24% you often see them in students, but 76% of you said you see these problems every day. So that's pretty significant. And you can see that executive functioning skills are really, really important to, because they enable students to function at school and at home and socially as well. And we're going to look at how in just a moment. Executive functioning consists of three skill sets, working memory, flexible thinking, and self-regulation. Working memory is the ability to hold new information in our head until we need it, and then use it in some way. Self-regulation is the ability to manage our emotions, thoughts, and actions. And flexible thinking is the ability to think about something in more than one way and find alternative solutions to solve a problem. Here's an example of how a student uses EF skills at school. So Sam is doing a maths test and comes to a tough question. She starts to feel anxious and self-regulates so she can focus on the problem. She uses her working memory to recall the information she needs to solve the problem step by step. And lastly, when she discovers her first attempt doesn't work, she relies on her flexible thinking to work out a different way to go about solving the problem. So let's take a closer look at, at these three skill sets. 